On average, 98% of people who visit your website leave, never to return. So stop wasting resources and convert visitors into customers with Optin Monster. You can set up a campaign inside Optin Monster without the help of a developer in just a few minutes. And use its powerful personalization and behavior targeting options to show the right message to the right visitor at the right time. So check out Optin Monster today from the links in the description or scan this QR code on the screen. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create a custom Instagram photo feed on your WordPress website in the easiest way possible. So let's head to my screen now. And this is a WordPress website that I am using right now. And for creating the Instagram feed on a WordPress website, we'll be using a plugin called Smash Balloon. Now, Smash Balloon is a specific plugin or a set of plugins created only for embedding social media feeds on your site. So they have an Instagram feed plugin, their Facebook feed, Twitter feed, YouTube feed, TikTok feed, reviews feed, and aggregate. That means you can combine all of them at the same time. And they have very generous free plugins as well. So you'll get free plugins for all of these. And in this uh, specific video, I'll be demonstrating the Instagram feed. Now, Instagram feed plugin itself has a free version and a premium version. There are some limitations to free and premium version. But I'm going to be using the uh, premium version so I can demonstrate all the uh, features and benefits to you. But you can decide after watching this video if it's worth it for you. But even the free version should uh, be able to give you a lot of features that I'm going to demonstrate. So what you'll need to do to get started with this, either just download the free plugin that I'll link in the description of this video, which is available on the WordPress repository, or you can download it from the site as well. Or if you like it, if you like the plugin, you want to get the pro version, then you can go on the site and just uh, purchase the premium version of either the Instagram feature Pro, or if you want, you can purchase the entire bundle of all the social media plugins uh, on their website. So whatever works, whatever you think is suitable for your business or for your website, you can make that purchase. So I already have the plugin file installed. If you make the premium purchase, then you'll get a zip file uh, inside your account. So you can see I, I can log in and inside your account, you'll find a zip file and a license code to activate the plugin. So I'll demonstrate how it works. So inside my WordPress dashboard, this is just a blank test website, nothing, no content here. So I'll go to the plugin section and I'll click on uh, add a new plugin. So I'm trying to add a new plugin. And what I'll do is go to upload plugin here and I'll just drag and drop the zip file of the plugin that I've just downloaded. So I'll just drag and leave it here. And you can see it's the Instagram feed pro plugin. That's the plugin that I have. I'll just install now. The plugin has been uploaded. Let's also activate it. All right. So the plugin is now installed on site. We also need to enter the license key to activate it. So what I'll do is the Instagram feed menu is being shown here now. And since I have not activated it, it's showing me, hey, try the pro demo. So I'll just go to settings here. And you can see the license key is inactive because I haven't entered one. So I'll copy the license key on my clipboard first from my computer and then I'll just paste it in this section. So I'll just first copy it. So I've copied the license key on my clipboard. I'll come here and I'll paste it and I'll click activate. And now you'll see, I can save my changes. And once I refresh the page, you'll see my license key is now activated. So it's activated now. So now we can start integrating, uh, or I'd say integrating our website with Instagram directly through the plugin and uh, create any kind of feed that we want on a site and then embed the feed anywhere using pages or widgets. Uh, it's um, completely under our control. So if you do it regularly through Instagram, you'll have to download the images, maybe add one or two images, but this plugin makes it uh, a lot more flexible. So I'll tell you how to do this. So what we can do is in the Instagram feed plugin here, we can go to the all feed section and inside the all feed section, since we haven't created a feed yet, we'll create a feed. Now, how do feeds work? Feeds can be like, let's say, like, for example, you want to create a different feed for all the people who tag you. And then you want to create a different feed for, let's say, hashtag specifically. And then you want to add another feed for your personal profile. So you can create different feeds and then decide which page or which feed to add to which page on your site. So it's quite flexible that way you can create uh, basically unlimited number of feeds. But I'm going to just create the one and then just demonstrate all the options to you. So I'll click the add new feed. And in the free version of the plugin, I think user timeline can be done. But uh, I think for the public hashtag and tag post, you need the pro version. I'm not absolutely sure. So just check out the website and the details there. So what I'm going to do is use the public hashtag feed here. And I'll just deselect the user timeline. And do keep in mind that for embedding this or embedding, creating a feed for public hashtag and tag post, you need to have an Instagram business account. If you just have a regular account, it won't work. You need to convert it to a business account. I'll leave a, let's say, a, a article in the description of this video, which will uh, highlight the steps. It just takes a few seconds. You have to go into your 
profile privacy settings and just change the account. So then you can then so you start to use this feature. So once you've selected which kind of feed you want to create, all you have to do is click the next button, which will give you add sources, basically an Instagram account that you have access to. So, so for example, let's say you have two, three different accounts. You can add all of them as sources and create more feeds out of them as well. So adding a source is the first step to uh, fetching data from Instagram directly. So I'll click on add source. And this will connect my website to Smash Balloon service using connect.smashballoon.com. And this is the kind of interface I'll see. And as you saw, I was creating a public hashtag uh, feed. So I'll choose the business option here. And this will give me a notification. Have you connected a Facebook account using this plugin before? Now, if you're just starting out, this is the first time you're using, of course, you're going to say no because you haven't connected it. But I've been using this plugin on and off on different websites as tests and demonstrations. So I'll be using clicking yes because I have connected my Facebook account using this. So you should click no, but I'll click yes. So once this is done, you'll see you will have this notification to uh, connect with Facebook. Now, if you click no, then you'll have to do this first, the source type and the connection types. You might see an additional few steps where you might be notified to connect with Facebook and do some authentication. And once that is done, then, then only the next step or this step will begin. So I'll connect with Facebook here. So I'll click on Facebook, connect with Facebook. And you can see you previously logged into Smash Balloon with Facebook. Would you like to continue? So this is the step. That's why it was asking me, have I connected with uh, the Facebook account or any Facebook account before? So I'll continue with my personal profile. And this will fetch all the Instagram accounts that are connected with my Facebook profile. This is important. If your Facebook profile or Instagram profile is not connected to uh, uh, a Facebook account, then it might not fetch it. So make sure that is connected now because everything is under the same umbrella under Meta. You can actually do that. And I'll try to find resource which tells you how to connect a Facebook page with a specific, or no, no, an Instagram page with a Facebook page so that Meta can fetch it here. So you'll also have a confirmation for a domain. This is just a test, test website. So in this space where you see the domain name, you should be seeing your domain name. So then we can just say, yes, this is my domain. This will verify everything. And it will redirect you to the dashboard of your page or a website account. And you'll start seeing uh, which kind of Instagram profiles you have access to through that specific Facebook page. So I have this one Instagram account that I've created just as a test. So this is the Instagram account you can see. So I'll just select this because I want to connect this as a source. So I'll click add. And then this Instagram uh, account has been now connected to my Smash Balloon account and to my website as well. So once this is done, I can now start to create the feed based on hashtags that I want to showcase. So right now I can see enter publish hashtag. This is a feed I'm creating. So I have to do because I've selected a hashtag feed, I have to select or enter the hashtags I want to use. And all I have to do is start typing them in. So for example, I'll say uh, WordPress. I'll type in a comma. I'll do Instagram. Just for example, I'll do shopping and I'll also do website, right? So you can have multiple uh, hashtags as a combined feed, or you can have individuals as well, depending on how you're trying to showcase the feed. So once this is done, when you, once you're happy with all the hashtags you want to do, uh, then you can also customize if you want to fetch the post are top rated or most recent. So again, you have some customization ability. I'll leave it to most rated for now or most recent for now. I'll click the next button. And now we have a few options to select from in terms of the theme. So we can have a default theme. We can have a modern theme, social wall, outline and overlap. And you can change these later as well. So for now, I'll just stick with the default one and click the next button. And then we have a feed style template as well. So you want to have a default style grid, Excel grade, simple row, highlights, card, masonry, and you can change this as well. So I'll stick with, let's say, masonry. I like the style. I'll click the next button. And this will start creating the feed for us and start fetching the data. And then we'll be able to customize this anyhow we like. So I'll wait for it to load, and then I'll consume, or I say, not consume, I'll resume the video. So once the process finishes, you will see an online uh, tutorial on the screen, which will tell you how to embed the feed and everything. But since you're watching this video, I'll just close this for now and just look at the feed here. So this is what we can do, or this is a basic, I say, a overview of what the feed will look like. And see here, you have all the, I'd say, posts being embedded. You can load more and preview how the feed is going to look like and just understand how the feed works. You can also change the name of the feed and we have a lot of settings that we can customize. We can see a preview here. So you can see the desktop preview. 
a mobile and tablet preview here as well. So you'll be able to understand how it will look like on different kind of phones. Now, the customization part is where it is very, very powerful. Or this plugin is extremely powerful. So we have all these customization options. And if you want to go back and change some of the core settings that we sat on, like the theme, the hashtags, you can go in the settings option. You'll find the sources, the filtration, moderation, and advanced tab, and you can clear the feed cache as well. So I'll skip this part. I'll just put a customization option and we, where we can change the cosmetic things about the feed itself. So we can change the template once again. We have the masonry cards template. I can change it again to, let's say, a simple grid. And I can just go and save, update, and it'll be now changed in a couple of seconds. So you can change the template once again based on all the things that we have. You can also change the theme. So we can go here and change it to a social wall, a modern theme, or whatever you like. So basically, you still have customization options to change it. Then you can change the feed layout as well. So again, if you just want a specific style, but want to have the layout in a different way, you have that option as well. You can customize the padding, the height, number of posts that load on websites, on desktops, everything. So basically, everything about the fees is feed is completely customizable for you. We can also change the color scheme. For example, let's say you have a specific kind of uh, uh, custom colors that you want to do. That's also an option. So if you click click, uh, click the custom colors option, you can choose from the uh, all the palettes can be completely customized. So the text can be changed. The, the background can be changed. The link colors can be changed. Everything can be completely customized. And you can also choose the inherit option. That means uh, the website or the feed will take the basically inherit the style from your theme and you can also do it light or dark whatever you want to do and then go back so for example i'll go back and change the theme i think i changed something default so let's go to default and i think i made some changes so let's go back to the template and change it to masonry again let's do this and update and let's go back here and after the color scheme, we also have options to change the header, the post and load more button and everything else. Let's look at that as well. So I'll go back to header here and inside header, I can change the header style. So this is the header. I can change it to box centered or standard or text. So if I make changes here, you won't see much of a difference because I'm on a desktop. You will see differences between if I change the width, but if I want to do a specific text, I can just change the text to and say, Hey, we are on Instagram and change the size and the color of the specific color of the text here as well let's stick to standard for now you can also disable it here and change the header style and you can also add custom images you can change the text here so for example you want to change the text colors if you want to uh, show the number of followers show text in bios so if you're embedding your own profile this is useful and basically you can customize some other things as well if you want to include your stories as well that only will work if you have profiles embedded so you can include your stories and everything here as well if you go back to customize options we can also customize how the posts look like the style of the post so if you want to have them in a box view or regular view you want to change the background color the border radius so right now you see the Instagram uh, header has a slight border. So if you want to make them exactly rectangular, you can just make the zero and it'll be rectangular. And if you change this to, let's say 20, you'll see a nice rounded edge here. So based on how your website style is, you can completely customize it. So let me just make it 10 because I think it's a nice balance. So it looks good. And you can change the background colors and other styles as well. Going back to uh, the post section, we can have images and videos we can change. So we can have resolution of images and videos that come up. And then we can also change the caption styles. So what's the length of the caption? What's the size of the caption? And going back, we can also change like and comment summary. So what's the summary like? What's the icon for likes and everything? So basically, if you go to all these options, you can completely customize almost everything or every say, cosmetic change about the feed, how it appears, uh, what kind of behavior it represents. For example, if I hover over it, you can see it has a nice gray overlay on it. So I can change the color of it as, as well. So for example, let's say my website has a bluish theme. So I'll just make this a nice blue color. And now I just, if I hover over it, it will be a nice blue color that's hovered over it. Then you can enable the username display, the date, Instagram icon, anything you like, and maximum caption length can be customized as well. And this is just the post section. If you go into the load more button, you can see what's the text like, what's the background, what's the hover state and text, and infinite scroll can be enabled as well. So users can keep scrolling and more posts will be loaded automatically. So everything about the feed can be customized. And the follow button is also something you can add here. And you can also go into the light box option and example, or I say, completely customize the light box. So if you want to enable the light box, first you have to enable this, and then you can customize the behavior and show comments and everything as well. And basically, light box is something that can be, uh, when a user clicks on a specific post here, what do they see? If they see the image in the light box, this is you can what you can enable as well. So basically, this is all you can do with Instagram Feed Pro by Smash Balloon. Completely customize the feed, and we showed I showed you how to create a hashtag-based uh, feed, but you can also create a feed 
feed based on your profile or specifically tags and mentions as well. So if you have a business account, let's say you sell consumer products and a lot of consumers tag you on Instagram, you can completely create a feed only for that, that, hey, these are all the users that are tagging us on social media or Instagram. And the same process that I showed you, you just have to connect your account and you can do the same thing, customize it. And then I'm now going to show you how to embed this feed on any page on your site. So let's go back to my screen here. And once this is done, we'll just save it. So once I'm done, once I've made everything or changes, made the changes I want to, I'll make sure to save it. Then I'll go back to all feeds. And once I'm in all feeds, now I can see that I have a short code that I can uh, use to embed this. And this is the easiest way to embed this anywhere on the website. So I'll just click to copy the short code and then I'll go to a post on my website. So since this is a test website, I have no content here. So I'll just create a new post here. Now this can be any page on your site. This can be any post on your site, anything that you can edit with the block editor, basically just edit so you can add the short code. So I'll just uh, make sure to write test Instagram feed, oops, Instagram feed. So I'll type it here. And here, I'll just use the short code block and I'll just type the short code here and I'll just click publish and publish. And once this is done, we should start see or start seeing the uh, feed on this page. So let the page publish and I'll open it up a new, new tab as well. And as you can see, instantly in a couple of seconds, the page was saved. I opened the page in a, the same tab. And now you see all the customizations we made based on the feed are now showing up here. I'll click load more and load more and more pages. So this was the boxed view. We can change the width, height, and how the everything looks like on the page. And this is how easy it is to create a customized Instagram feed based on hashtags, based on your user profile, or based on tags and mentions and embed it on your WordPress website. This is the uh, Instagram Feed Pro plugin by Smash Balloon. As I said, Smash Balloon has a lot of different plugins. So if I go to the website again, you'll see that we have a Facebook feed, Instagram feed, Twitter feed, YouTube feed, TikTok feed, reviews feed, social wall, and you can get the entire bundle for a discounted price as well. So go check out Smash Balloon. This is a fantastic plugin and you can start get, uh, using the free version as well if you just want to embed as I said do the basic stuff and if you want to do everything I did you will require the premium version so if you like the features of the plugin make sure to like it share this uh, video with someone who you think might benefit from this plugin and you can also subscribe to our channel for more WordPress and education just like this you're watching Yuvraj from WBeginner and I'll catch you in the next video really really soon take care